I actually like to use a bunch of the Profoto light shapers, right? And for very different reasons. And to me, each one has a really specific purpose. And the fact that there are so many and that they're so specific is really, really handy. I love the strip lights. What's great about them is that is the quality of light that they give out is broad and skinny. It's like, in a sense, a very diffused light, but over a very small area. So you can like light a full figure, but not spill light all over the place. So to me, that's really, really handy, whereas a bigger light source is just putting light everywhere. I tend to use it in very, very close. It's very beautiful. So I use those a lot. And frankly, the other thing that's nice about them, I've gone on the road with a bunch of the two-footers. And basically, if you're rolling up to somebody's house or office, you basically pull them out of the case, plonk them on a stand, plug them in, you're ready to shoot. There's no assembly. There's no nothing. It's like neat, tidy, small profile, little footprint. They're really great. So I like those very, very much. And the other piece I love that I think is like the unsung hero of the uh, light shaping universe are actually the narrow beam reflectors. And the travel one's smaller now. And those are unbelievably useful. I find what happens is they concentrate the light like a grid spot does. And grid spots are great. Uh, what's great about these though, is they intensify the light, right? So if a grid spot's going to give you f8, this thing might give you 22 or 32. It's really giving you a lot of light. And so I've used those, uh, say, with the 7Bs on location. And because they're putting out so much light, I can actually power way down and get like a zillion flashes, like I never have to change the battery, right? So that's really, really handy. And also, they have a big throw, so you can put them farther from the subject, and that's handy. And I've used them for a type portrait, and I've literally used them to light up the entire side of a building, right? The, um, in uh, Seattle, there's a Frank Geary building there, shot at dusk, and literally lit up pretty much the whole side of the building with two 7Bs.